Good afternoon, and I'm here to talk to you about our 64th commencement ceremony this Wednesday at 11 o'clock on our field. Today we had a successful senior practice. However, I do want to go over some of the details of that, just to make sure that everyone knows exactly what is going on on that day. Because COVID has presented some new challenges for us to be able to present the ceremony to you. Everyone should have received a car placard. The car placard would have been laminated and inside of your graduation bag. Um, we would ask for you to place the car placard on the front dashboard of your car and at before a little bit before 10 o'clock, you could start coming into the ALJ parking lot. Only with that car placard, that will be your entrance into the event. Once you parked, if you've parked on the left side of the outward parking lot going towards the police station, if you parked on the left side or in the front, we would ask for you to socially distance yourself and walk with the graduate to the gate towards the soccer field. If you have parked to the right of that uh, ramp exiting ALJ, we would ask for you to use the gate towards the softball field entering into the event. You would notice that there will be uh, colored cones, uh, equidistant, socially distanced apart, eight feet, and we would ask for you to just make sure that you're keeping distance from another family in front and in back of you as you're entering the field. At 10 o'clock, pomp and circumstance is going to begin. One of the differences is that we're not gonna have the time to be able to put everyone together and line them up and move in parents will be sitting with the graduates on the field. So initially, as a family, you will be um, pomp and circumstancing into our event together as one family unit. All the students um, were able to find their spots on the field. However, should you forget in terms of where you should be, um, there will be teachers and administrators on the field to help guide you into your spaces. We will be taking up the um, football field from the five yard line all the way to the following 10 15 yard line on the other side there will be um, 10 triplet chairs socially distanced apart on the field and there will also be the graduates name in the center of that triplet uh, the graduate will sit in that seat and the two guests and or two parents or guardians will sit and flank the graduate on the field there will be no seating in the bleachers at that time we would ask everyone when they're coming in that they wear a mask. Um, should you forget a mask, kindly, uh, Mr. Kololanko and his group has donated 500 masks. Um, we would like to give each graduate a mask. Um, and if there's anyone else that had forgotten a mask, you might be able to receive one at the door. But please remember to bring your own mask. Uh, you might feel more comforted with that mask instead of these masks that I'm showing you here. We are providing two cooling stations that are there as well on the field. Um, so if you're finding that the sun is too much for you or the heat's too much and you need to just quietly exit off to the left or to the right, you can do so. There'll be tents and there'll be um, bottled water at those cooling stations in an area where you can probably just get out of the sun. Please know that there'll be bottled water underneath every single chair as well as a program will be placed on every single seat um, and then this way you know that they have been placed uh, with plastic gloves using social distancing and safety requirements should you need to have more water those watering stations will be provided for you um, in the front and the back um, you'll know and identify them through a tent, um, but we will be providing water for you. Should you feel that you would need extra water, absolutely you can bring extra water and place it in your pocketbook um, for the event. Um, I would be mindful if I would say, please make sure that your, my, your um, cell phones are on vibrate um, so that they're not buzzing in the middle of the event, but all these things will be placed in ahead of time because that social contact has to be minimized during the commencement exercises. So water will be provided. You may bring extra water. Your program will be taped to every single seat that's out there. So that will be there as well. And you just have to show up and make sure you have your mask. However, a mask will also, extras will be at the gates for you as well. When you're on the field, we would ask, um, as you're flanked on the field, we will go to the program as normal. 
And the graduates, when they do get up to collect their diploma, you will notice there will be no handshaking. It will just be holding on to the diploma itself to snap a photo on the stage itself and then exit and return back to the field. Um, and when we come to the end and we allow everyone to move their tassel over um, and we know that our graduates have moved on, we can certainly celebrate at that time. Our recessional music will play and then we would ask uh, our families to leave the gate out of the gates that they entered into socially distanced once again. We're extremely excited to be able to bring everything to you, um, but we do realize that there's going to be there's there's a lot of restrictions and there's a lot of regulations. So you're going to see on the stage there's going to be multiple microphones. You might see a cover on top of the microphone. You might see myself or Mr. Bouchard peeling. Um, it's kind of like a mask for the phone uh, microphone to make sure that everyone can feel safe. Please be mindful that the mask and us socially distancing is not just for your safety, but also the safety of your peers and your colleagues and families of Clark. And we just want to make sure we would love to have 100% participation here at the event, but we would also like to make sure that everyone feels comfortable at the event as well. And, and please be mindful that the people sitting left and right of you also have um, perhaps compromised loved ones sitting at home. And this is why we're going through all of this, not just to celebrate our seniors, but to make sure they're having an event um, that can be memorable um, but also one that in the afterthoughts or aftermath that everyone is still safe. Um, we will be live streaming uh, this event. So if you feel like the heat is too much for you that day, we would ask for you to please stay home. Um, I do want to mention now that I'm thinking about it, please make sure that you're taking the temperature in your house. Um, you're better off taking it twice to make sure you're getting a correct reading and making sure that you're not showing any symptoms of COVID. If you feel like you're getting a slight fever and or symptomatic, we would request if you please stay home and watch the event at home. Um, if you're finding that you're all clear, then we're excited to have you here with us at 11 o'clock Wednesday. And we just want to really, uh, I have to thank everyone from every community member, our police department, our, our mayor, our administrators, our students and families, because without you, uh, this event would not be going on on Wednesday. So I look forward to seeing you all and have a wonderful day.